Today's Ask Me Anything goes out to Miss Daisy, who says, if the martingale is on correctly, can it hurt the dog's trachea if the owner is pulling regularly? Well, I don't know what you mean by pulling regularly, because if the dog is on a collar, the dog should be learn how to avoid the pressure. It should be walking on a loose leash, on no collar, whether it's a prong collar, electric collar, uh, a, a flat collar, a, a strap collar, a martingale collar, a choke chain, or anything. Should the dog ever be pulling on the collar. I don't understand where that concept comes from. The dog should be walking on a loose leash. We use a collar to restrain the dog if they should pull, but they should be walking on a loose leash. Train the dog. I think um, you know a martingale collar is a, is a really humane, safe, easy collar to work with. Um, but you know, I mean, putting pressure. Yeah, if the dog is just pulling against it, pulling against it, pulling against it, it's less likely to put pressure on the trachea because a martingale, just like a choke tin, is designed to constrict to go around. So there's less pressure on the trachea. Where if the dog is just on a plain flat collar, that pressure is on the trachea only. It's not putting any pressure on any other parts of the neck. So a constricting collar, such as a martingale, will, put, will distribute the pressure more evenly than a flat collar, which keeps the pressure straight on the front of the neck. I hope that makes sense to you biomechanically. Um, if not, maybe I'll put a collar on myself and show you guys how that works. But um, yeah, no, I don't think you're going to hurt the dog's neck if you teach the dog proper correction, proper leash pressure, and all that stuff. I think it'll be a humane way to train your dog. Got a question? Ask me anything.